Welcome to Let's Build Something. Today we're going to build Thor's Hammer. So a few months ago I got a welder and I've been thinking about a cool project to teach myself how to weld and it hit me that it would be kind of cool to have Thor's hammer lying around. So that's what I'm going to try to do. As I've said many times on this channel, I am in no way an expert. I am using this project to teach myself how to weld. So let's get to it. I have a nice uh, one inch thick bar, uh, solid, and then I have a quarter inch thick steel plate that I'm going to weld together to make the hammer. I have a flat disc on my grinder, so my first step here is just to clean these up. Now that the steel was cleaned up, I marked my cuts. Then, using a cutoff wheel, I cut on my lines. I clamped all the side plates together to grind them to a consistent width. All right, we got a lot done yesterday. I'm, I'm actually amazed at how quickly this is going. Um, coming from a woodworker's perspective, I always thought that metal would be harder to work with and take much longer. Uh, and that's completely not the case from what I found. Um, it's going really, really nicely. But right now, I have four plates like this with all the corners notched out and two plates like this with all the corners notched out as well. This is the striking surfaces on either side and this is gonna be the four sides around it. So what I need to do now is as you can see I have some lines drawn out there. I need to score a line on either side of it and then bend it to 30 degrees. I printed out a protractor to make sure I was getting my bends at the correct angle. So now that I have all the angles correct, I need to do my first welds. I need to run a bead on the inside of those plates to lock in the angle. After this session of welding, I talked to my buddy who was a professional welder for 30 plus years. He said that the splatter I was getting was due to the wire I was using. Apparently flux core wire, which is what I'm using, doesn't burn as clean and that's why it has the splatter effect. Now, please remember, that this is an intro to welding for me. By no means am I an expert. So, before you call my horrible welds horrible, keep in mind, it's my first time, yo. Anyway, I have one down, now I just need to do it. Now I need to grind a flat edge onto the side plate so that the face plates have a nice surface to weld to. I cut a hole in the center of these two plates and started assembly. At this point, I have our two striking surfaces and two of the big side plates 
side plates uh, all welded into place. So now I need to make the piece that's going to fit in this slot at a 45 degree angle. Uh, something I'd also like to point out, obviously, this piece right here, this big puck, way too big. Uh, it's going to get ground down later. Off camera I welded some support structures inside, both for strength as well as weight. Off camera I did a whole bunch of stuff. I took this disc from the puck that it was and turned it down, or I cut it down to its, uh, close to its final dimension. Um, so that we can grind it to where it's going to be without it being a huge hassle. So, I have to weld on this final faceplate. And then we have a lot of grinding and filling to do. So, let's get that done. For the last month or so, I have been grinding and welding and grinding and welding to fill every hole, and to be honest with you, I've had enough of it. So this is as far as I'm gonna go on grinding and filling. So now I need to carve in this uh, Celtic knot pattern, and this is actually the inverse of what is on the actual hammer. I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, and I did carve what's on the actual hammer, and I got halfway through it, and I just hated the way it looked. Um, I wasn't good at it. I still need to do this on a few more sides, and I've already done the runes around the top. So, let's do more carving. So, the way I've been doing this is I have my pattern here, taking spray adhesive, and just giving it a dusting like so. And then we need to wait for this to dry a little bit for it to become tacky. And then we're gonna stick this pattern onto the metal and then take our uh, rotary tool with a, with a burr and cutting out this pattern. After that, we're gonna take this pattern off. Uh, we're gonna take this paper off and then with a different, bigger, Burr, we're gonna cut in the pattern to its final form. I've been doing this all day and uh, I'm tired of it so let's go ahead and get this done.
I did some work last night and I wish I had filmed it because everything I did worked perfectly. First thing I did was I 3D printed out this little template to go over top so I can mark out my lines for the rings I have to inlay. The other thing I did is, oh my gosh, there's a little hole right there. You may remember that I welded some support structure inside and one of those welds broke so when you shook it, you could hear a rattle. Um, and I filled that And I filled that with some epoxy, um, and now there's no more rattle. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next, I have to uh, do some more carving on the handle here so that I can inlay my aluminum wire to act as those rings that go around the hammer. And then I'm leather wrapping it and then I'm done. Can't wait. I know my camera work is just flawless, but basically what I'm doing here is gluing and stretching the leather so that it perfectly wraps around the handle and I can cut away the excess to reveal the aluminum rings. Now that I have Thor's hammer, it'd be kind of cool to use it. a ton of fun but now that this build is finished let's talk about mistakes and the biggest mistake I made was the result of this hole right here um, I welded those support structures inside that I'm not even sure that I needed um, one of them broke loose and started rattling around so I had to put epoxy in there to glue that piece down um, and that added a little bit of weight to the hammer so it's not all bad and as far as mistakes go 
I think that's it. I am very happy with how this hammer turned out. It's extremely heavy. The only reason I'm able to hold it here is because it's on my shoulder right now. So thank you all so much for watching. I had a ton of fun building this project. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And I'd also love to hear what you thought about this project in the comments below. Thanks for watching. You have a good day.